Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Right, so in the last episode we finished up the Crown Dungeon, and we got ourselves the fifth essence of time, and a Goron has now opened up a new tunnel for us, but there are some things we got to do before we head off into the next area of Rolling Rage. And that is we're going to head back to town to line the city, because there are some things i got to do in that particular area, um, such as go back to there in the past and give uh, Rafton the magic ore in return for something. I don't know what you get from it, but I'm pretty sure that the boomerang, yeah, the, I, I'm very sure now that the boomerang is not sold at that shop, so don't even bother going there. I, I, I know, I'm pretty sure I know where you get the boomerang from, and it's in that game that the Goron was talking about in Rolling Ridge. You have to win it. Do come in. Welcome to Vaju Jewelers. What can I do? Uh, I have a ring that needs appraising, and I'm hoping this is this is going to be a very useful ring, which it isn't. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. I call this the armor ring. Damage taken, um, minus or down, whatever. <laughs> Sword damage taken down. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. I've appraised all your rings, right? So it's a, it's a ring we haven't got before. It's an armor ring. Basically, it works like the uh, defense upgrade that you get in Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. It just decreases your damage taken by half or something like that. Uh, so now we need to go back to the past and go pay a visit to Rafton. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now just to get it out of the way so that it's not on my mind. Uh, we might as well get everything done that we can now. What the hell? Is there is there another? Yeah, there is a teleporter. Oh crap, okay. Uh, so we're going to have to actually use a pad or teleportation pad by using the Tune of Echoes instead of the Tune of Currents. So the best place to go is just to go up here. Because it's the closest spot. Hang on a second. Yeah, I need to move that up a bit. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> it's just that the top part of the emulator was on the recording and I didn't want that to show, so I just moved the uh, emulator up a bit. Right, so now... Oh, what? You, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Dog! Dog! Why isn't this shop open? Why? Why isn't this shop open? Open it for me now. Like, bust in there or do something. Get a cannonball and blow down the door. I don't care if all civilization is in jeopardy. I just want to open that shop so then I can get what I need from there, which is rings. Because I know they sell rings in there. And I don't know why it's not open yet. There must be something you need to do in particular to actually open that shop. Maybe you need to get so far into the game. But I don't remember getting so far into the game when I paid a visit to that shop. I, I know I went in that shop, like before I even did the second dungeon. That's crazy. I don't know why it hasn't opened yet. Uh, did I place a ma did I place a Maku seed um, in town? Because I was, go was going to go and check and see if I... No, I haven't. Because so, it's not in the spot. It should be there, but it's not. No, it should be there, actually. Uh, but it's not there. Alright, okay. Isn't it Rafton... Doesn't Rafton... Yeah, he lives down here. Okay. And he may, he's not in this side of the room, he's on the other side, so don't worry if you don't see him on the first screen. Hey, how goes the rafting? I'm thinking of entering a raft race, but I haven't been able to find it, find a decent ore to race with. Give him the magic ore? Yeah, sure. Whoa, that looks that ore. It looks like a toy, but I like it. Thanks, in exchange I know. How's this lazily playing guitar while gazing at the moon is so nice. So now you got the sea ukulele, and I know exactly who to give that to. Remember the Zoro we paid a visit to in a few ep well a few episodes ago before we headed off to Rolling Ridge. Well, that's the Zora that needs the sea ukulele because remember he wanted an instrument to remember his youth, uh, all the time of his youth. So we need to go and give him that to refresh his memory. <laughs> I don't know what you get from. I think you get a broken sword. For getting the or for giving him the sea ukulele, I'm not entirely sure about that. But if if so, then we're near the end of the main side quest here, so then we don't have to go doing that anymore. And I could, if if that is what I get from it, then I can go ahead and complete the side quest now. So then we have the best sword in the game, ready for the sixth dungeon. Because <laughs> I never got the sword this early in the game, so well not before I haven't. I got the 
upgraded sword before I went to level 8. So, you know. <laughs> or the 8th dungeon, should I say. Alright, so... Yeah. I know we're near the end of the side quest now, though. How I miss the smell and sound of the sea. Give him the sea ukulele? Yeah. That's, that ukulele has the spirit of the sea in it. That smell, that sound, it's that's good of you to respect your elders, kids. I see you are on some adventure. Well, I'll give you something old. This is the hero sword, yes! That's that a great hero gave my ancestors long ago. You got the broken sword. Hey, it's broken. What's that? It's broken. Uh -huh, ahem. Uh -huh, um, what? A great sound. <laughs> yeah, you just gave me a broken sword and you carry on listening to your ukulele. Right, so it's not like the Big Goron sword. You don't have to go to the Big Goron and get your sword fixed or anything like that. It's just... Well, I'll show you exactly where we need to go. We need to go to Restoration Wall. So what we have to do, we have to go through all that again. That's Symmetry City to get to Restoration Wall, so... It's not really that bad going there the second time, though, so... Oh, we need to go to the future, though. <coughs> <coughs> My throat. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go to the future, and then go back to the past, and then... Go through the same stuff we did last time. I don't know what's gonna happen. I think... Wait, no, this is in the sea in the future, I remember. No, I don't wanna go this way. Not... Wait, actually, no, it's not. I'm in the middle of a tree! <laughs> um, okay, I didn't wanna go into the middle of a tree. How about here? That'll do. Oh, I thought when you played the C, when you played the tuna currents here, or any tune, well, yeah, the tuna currents here, you'd end up in the middle of the sea. Uh, it must be some other spot that I'm thinking of then. All right, so we can now use or t use our tornado seeds to teleport to Symmetry City. So I don't think I will get. To, I don't think you'll get to see the other side of Rolling Ridge in this episode. I think all I'll do for this video is just get the sword upgraded and then that'll be it. Then we can just start the next episode off in a brand new area. Go into a brand new area. Okay. Alright, so... I do like the 6th dungeon. To be honest with you, I like the 6th dungeon more than I like the 5th dungeon. Because the 6th dungeon is really unique among dungeons in this game and Zelda games well most Zelda games and it is a water dungeon though so <laughs> but it's not a bad water dungeon that's what I'm trying to say it's not you know like the water temple in Ocarina of Time it's nothing like that but there is a water dungeon in this game there are two water dungeons two water dungeons in this game actually but the seventh dungeon is a water dungeon and I do not like it I just don't like that dungeon at all Hmm. And it's a pain in the ass to get to as well. Like, it takes quite a while to get to it. But however, we are going to be getting the best sword in the game. But there is a... you can apparently get... I heard you can apparently get the big Goron sword in this game, but you can only do it by linked... Um, by linking Oracle of Seasons to Oracle of Ages and using some kind of cheat code. Like, that's what I heard on the Zelda Wikipedia website. Like it said, you can get the big Goron sword, which is a, which is the level three sword, and apparently you can get a level four sword, which is like a saber or a katana. Well, it looks like a katana. Um, no, I'm doing I'm doing this all wrong here. No, wait, actually, am I doing it wrong? Wait, you can go up here, right? And there'll be like some kind of no, I am doing this wrong, aren't I? I don't know. <laughs> hey, am I doing it wrong? Yeah, I am. I'm going up the wrong way, dude. You want to go back down? <laughs> I'm forgetting my way around this place already, I tell you. But getting the sword upgraded, the mini game that you have to do for it is a pain in the ass. It's a lot harder than what you had to than what you had to do for the tuning nut because there are more of those turtles you have to kill. So it's a lot more harder in that aspect. And you also have to keep repeatedly pressing that switch so that the sword doesn't break, crash crash into the, um... Crash into the, uh... What is it that it crashes into? I think, well, you know, the minecart crashes into the sword. Yeah, that's right. You have to 
keep on pressing the switch and make sure the minecart doesn't crash into the sword and break it and then the mini game's over and then you have to restart again so but there are so many other things to kill and you know how annoying those turtles are to kill because they bounce you all over the place so I don't know how well I'm going to do on it. If I do it first try then yay <laughs> that would be great if I do it first try that would be awesome but we will see how things go I find it funny the way how those tech tights just bounce up and down it's as if they're dancing to the music what the heck are you serious okay I have n well I do know what just happened just then I accidentally pressed uh, I think it was the windows button I accidentally pressed and it closed off the emulator and you got to see my background yes it's Super Mario Galaxy background <laughs> um, so yeah, what was I talking about? I think I was talking about tech tights dancing to the music as they were moving up and down and we've encountered Maple twice in this video. What the heck is going on here? And there's a ring down there and I can't get it because it's in the trees. If only I could just jump down there and get it. But no, she's got it. Ugh. Curse you, Maple. Only because you can fly. That's just unfair, dude. That's cheap. Well, I still beat you, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we're almost there. We've got to climb the wall now and try and dodge all the falling meatballs. Yeah, the falling meatballs of doom. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, dude. Right, we're almost there, yay. <laughs> Alright, so let's speak to this guy. What's he called? I don't know. Um... Patch, yeah, that's right. I haven't seen you in a while. If you've come all the way up the wall, you must need some something fixed, but my fun, uh, delicate ceremony is more difficult now. Do you wish to try? Yes, I sure do. <laughs> I see. You want me to repair that broken sword. My restoration ceremony might fix it. Want to try? Yep. Are you... You are willing to try very well. Follow me. <laughs> See, he always sounds so suspicious when he says that, and the, like, the thing is, he has a basement, so it makes it even more creepy. Okay. Welcome to Patsy's Crazy Cart. Will you partake in my ceremony? Uh, I sure as hell don't want to. I mean, I wish you could just fix my sword without having to do this thing, but okay. Well, like, get some smithies or something to come and fix it for me instead of having to do this and being bounced around by turtles. Uh, I said yes. Wait, did I just did I just read the rules seriously? I need one. Ah, uh, get out of here. See, uh, this mini game is just not fun at all. <laughs> it's not easy either. No, get get out, get out! No, no! Ah! I was, I was getting too overzealous then. I was being too careless and he just freaking messed up just then. Never mind. <laughs> well, I did realize that the cart was going into the saw, that's why I wanted to move that turtle out the way so I could get to the switch in time before it reached its destination. Okay, I need to stand on that switch again. No, I've messed it up again. Oh my god, see her. This is probably going to take up quite a lot of time but still as long as I get it done that's all that matters I'm not too fussed about it if I mess up so many times because it's understandable to mess up because this thing is just so so hard it's just you get bounced around by these things quite a bit and you know you can't move like you could in Majora's Mask when swinging your sword and never mind that was also another fail because if, cause if you can move around while swinging your sword like you could in Twilight Princess well Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time you also had a fair bit of control with the sword but in this game you don't when you slash you stand in one place and I'm not even getting any of them into the hole <laughs> okay it's good to suck on s oh come on I was on the switch I have done this I have done this before but it's uh I say so annoying. <laughs> I was on the switch, and no, don't go playing your harp. <laughs> this is no time to be playing music, dude. 
And you want to do a swing attack, but you can't do one because they don't allow you to. Get out the freaking way. Yes. At least it's gone down on another cycle now. Oh, come on, I'm trapped! Fuck! Ugh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is annoying. This mission. This is. Well, this thing, this minigame is. Because you get. Oh, it's. Because. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. See, now I'm trapped! I can't even freaking move! I think it's best to use Pegasus seeds, actually, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Pegasus Seeds. Screw it. Because then I can run around the room a lot more freely without feeling so sluggish and slow. Right. I guess that's the key here. Just use Pegasus Seeds. And cause then you can run away from these things faster. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. It's still... F <laughs> <laughs> and there's lots of these that you have to kill as well, so... <laughs> but they're so annoying to kill. These are probably the most annoyingest enemies ever to kill. Because the only way you can kill them is by getting them in the freaking holes. So get in the holes. You fucking bitches. <laughs> Okay, there's going to be a lot of bad language in this video, because this minigame is just so annoying. Don't, whatever you do, oh, freaking Jesus. I just like to take my time with it. Okay, get down the hole, huh. get in there, get in there. No, don't freaking mess me up now. <laughs> Maybe there's not going to be some bad language. I, I don't think I curse that much. Because we're almost done here. This is the last one. Oh my god, finally. Yay. <laughs> sorry for that, guys. I'm sorry I got a bit angry there. It's just that, that mini game. Oh man, I just don't like it. It's just you get bounced around all over the place. You get stuck, and it's best off using Pegasus Seeds. Because I did that within the second try of using Pegasus Seeds. So, you got through this trap uh, ceremony. Here is your broken sword, as good as new. As usual, I am perfect. Sure, whatever you say. Here you go. You got the Sacred Noble Sword. It was all my doing. I was the one who actually fixed the sword. He was the one who was just standing there. I had to kill all your turtles. Be bounced around all over the place. Um, right, so... Now that we've got the level 2 sword, the strongest sword in the game, I'm going to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, I will meet you in Rolling Ridge, exactly where I was. I'm not going to resume the recording here. Um, so, because we've got nothing else left to do, we've pretty much cleared everything out that I wanted to clear out before we head off to the next area. So anyway guys, until then, this is MDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.